Uh, let's see. So, Denmark is called Ethiopia. In. Well, that's, I mean, they ne nearly didn't get called in at all. That would have been quite hilarious. So, is our army on the... Almira. Well, we've got that. Were we waiting for something? Did I not tick the right one? Oh, it's not ready yet. It's I'm a day early. Wow, okay. Ignore that. Resistance to occupation. Of course there is. Of course there is. I want to see this uh, this this final invasion go through. It's been so long in coming. And then we're gonna to have to deal with Ethiopia. But that is a problem for another day. So, just on the building section side of things, uh, we're probably gonna to want to build some stuff over in Greenland when we take it. But I would say some more military factories wouldn't go amiss. And we can build in any of these here and get some, some nice benefits there. We're going to have lots spare. We have a good chunk of stuff from the Soviet Union, the ex-Soviet Union. Right, we would like to see these guys going in. Let's speed this up because I don't think we're going to see any... Maybe we're not going to see any problems from the Allies. That would be awesome. I don't know how the Allies would get involved in this. I don't, apart from to declare war on us. But I don't trust them. And that's the thing. Uh, let's definitely have that update. And the experimental development... No, I still need the research bonus. There's still, there's still lots of things to research. So we'll put that onto that one. And away we go. Strengthen the naval bases. Excellent. Expand the shipbuilding. That's more dockyards. And dockyard construction speed increases by 10%. Uh, that doesn't sound too exciting, whereas this one does. Let's move over the other side again. See what we can have. Um, I would say... We do get some political advisors there. And some more support there. Stability's dropped a little bit. Let's take... I, uh, what do I need for this one? Refitted cruiser, cruiser classes. Let's go Air Force. Expand. Let's, let's just start working down. I want the Air Force up. So we've landed with 17 divisions. We should be able to power our way in there. Yeah, that went through surprisingly fast. Actually, leave me with one guy to make sure we go take that. And then he comes back afterwards. Kingdom of Greece has capitulated. Actually, that's good news for us. I'm pretty sure that's good news for us because I'm saying that we're probably going to be on the side of these guys now. That's stopped there. If Greece has finally gone, who's this guy? They are in the Axis, and they are in the Axis. Okay, so, I mean, North Africa's obviously gone, but um, not so much the Mediterranean yet. Although they have a toehold. Better torpedoes. I never got the better depth charges, did I? No. Okay, so we do need to, to do this. And this is more of our companions, soldiers coming into play. Uh, I should probably have recruited a huge stack of regular or good infantry divisions. And I haven't decided... I haven't got mechanized stuff in. Crap, I should be doing this. I want mechanized. Is it under there? There? I do want mechanized equipment, please. Because I want this for the armored divisions. Let's put this up in here. Oh, the amphibious tanks. Right. Yeah, we can definitely just drop that down to five factories now. And that gives us a stack of stuff free. We can put that into there. Uh, that should very quickly catch up and it's going to cost us a million units of rubber or thereabouts. And I'm just going to hold off with the, the other factories for now and see... Or am I... Am I? No, I'm not. I'm not. We're gonna, we're gonna turbocharge tanks and mechanized. 
That is going to cost us some stuff, isn't it? Yeah, rubber, 22. I need another three rubber factories. We are slow. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can. We can get some more from here. One, two, three. Of course, they're my convoys, so the Allies shouldn't be sinking them. But, uh, well, we don't know, do we? We just don't know. So, I'm going to drop this speed down a little bit. At the same time, we have enough units over there, so that's good. We're going to go on to our defense guy. You can take that one out and put this one in. You can go and defend over here. Perfect. I could bring some of my uh, Russian companions over, actually, to occupy these places. Oh, there's one place we haven't got yet. There's, um... This needs to go. Right. The Marines. The Marines need to go. Right, bring them over to here. In fact, we'll do a, a quick hop from here to here. I'm pretty sure we'll get it, unless it's absolutely stacked with stuff, which it could be. We want attack on there. I could train the Marines up. I think they're going to be okay to go in. Now that the big fleet has done its job over here, was it this one? So you want to be supporting naval invasions. He, uh, no, you want to be here doing that one. And let's just get my armies back. So make sure this guy... Defends that one as well. He's gonna he's gonna put someone over there. Take this off. What I'm gonna do is go to this force. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add them into that army. And you guys are gonna add your defenses over to there as well. So they're going to come all the way from Vladivostok to, <laughs> to flipping Greenland. That's amazing. Right, you can have one going in there and 15 divisions supporting it. And that should do the job quite nicely. And they can sit there until that's all done, done up. And so what we shall have is radar and naval base. We'll add that up a little bit so it's got some power in there. And air base. May as well stick it at 10. Give those guys something to build. And maybe some coastal forts. And maybe some land forts as well. There we go. We, we hold our new takings. Right, so what I really like to do is see if we can rapidly naval invade. Do I need to cancel the old orders? Yes, I do. That's always a thing. It never cancels the old order. So I need to make sure that you guys are on that one. You've got the transports. You'll be ready in 21 days. What have we got here? Staff office plan, siege, artillery, force attack. Uh, they won't get any support from this. Air support, that is. Hang on, where did I put those uh, medium bombers? I might be able to throw some in. I mean, they're not good for anything else. So I'm going to put them in for ground attack. And they can support the Marines from a distance. They might be able to actually reach there. Have we got... Yeah, we've got guys arriving over there. These lot are slightly redeploying. They're getting a little bit hungry. What shall I do? Infrastructure. Because there just isn't any. That'll help. We've got better artillery. Is there anything on the aircraft side we can do? We're just waiting over there. But it, it is it is range. What's this one? Dive brakes. Dive brakes. Yep. And for the for the combat support aircraft. Uh we're gonna need what is that one? No, screw the non-aggression packs. I don't I don't want to know about non-aggression packs just at the moment. Put them in there. We're basically farming Russian soldiers too. I tell you what I will do. Let's let's recruit. Let's do a um, let's do a division designer. We uh, we want to start off with a empty division, 
we're going to have armor. Medium tanks. You know these terrible medium tanks that we're producing? We're probably going to want about 10. Actually, let's go back and let's go... We want mechanized. And I'm going to see how many we can get here. Because this... I'm not going to go for a 40 width because they're massive and cost a fortune to supply. So this gives us organization of 65. This allows us to throw in a uh, load more medium tanks here. We can get the organization down quite low. We must have some massive benefits from something. So that's a combat with the 30, which is actually wider than I would probably like. I don't see a, I don't see a downside to that actually. Apart from we could probably do with some artillery in there. So let's take some of those off, actually. Combat with the 24. And let's add some, um, some mobile artillery. This gives us soft attack, hard attack, a decent amount of breakthrough, but we're going to increase that. Organization is enough. And of course, we're going to get better mechanized stuff. So this is where we start putting the fun stuff in. Long range patrol is good. We probably want, we will want logistics for the supply cost. Let's put that in now anyway. And then get support, anti-air. And the only other thing we can probably use, I could put support artillery in, but I think a field hospital, I don't know, that support artillery adds quite a bit. Apart from the armor and the piercing goes down. Supply use goes up a little bit. Hit points. It's soft attack. We get a nice bit of soft attack. Screw it. It's supposed to be hard hitting this one. So uh, combat with the 28, I think that is. It's a bit higher than I would like. It's okay, though. It's an, it's an okay design. I think it is. Let's take one of those out, actually. Let's remove that. And go with that. I think that's a... That's a good sort of compromise and make this elite. So, we won't have materials to train these. I'm pretty damn sure. But we'll try and get four divisions of the things out. And meantime, we're also going to get... Um, let's just put an army of these guys out. I'm looking at that manpower. and We've, we've got to be a little bit careful with it. No, not Moscow. Let's put them there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We've recruited a, a crap ton of soldiers there. Right then. Unlock traits. What have we got? This is our artillery stuff. We're going down this line. And we have unassigned divisions. Well, we could have all the manpower we wanted if, if I brought these guys into play. They could probably... They could probably invade flipping um, Ethiopia. I'd have to go from a, a, a neutral port, wouldn't I? Sorry, one of my ports. I couldn't go from a neutral country. Right, have we got stuff here? We've got troops arriving here, which is excellent. Almina. Right, let's bring everyone in. Make sure everyone is there. And then we're going to ship these guys out to a port that can actually sustain them. Um, yeah, let's send them there and get them over there. And we're going to plan the invasion from there. And I don't know how this is going to work, but we are going to try and invade Ethiopia, which is going to be the best coast to do it on. I'm going to go for this one, you know. I just think it's better ground to land in. Let's try... Oh, it's not giving us a great thing. We can spread out nicely from there. If it's going that way... Let's let's go... This is ex-British territory, isn't it? I'm not landing in free France. <laughs> We're going to land there. Anyway, we have a basic medium airframe. Let's go straight on to the improved one. I'm not even going to bother upgrading the design until we get the new one. For what they're doing. Air wings with no missions. We do have lots of this. They will have no air cover whatsoever around here. How are the Marines doing? Let's see how these guys get in. This is going to be the end of Denmark, I think, if we've got this right.
Then we go sailing past um, the Orkneys. Italy sends military support. Thank you, Italy. That's very kind of you. Is there anything we can do here, by the way? Yeah, we can develop iron ore mines, because we've got that. Diversify the elite forces. A free specialization. I will definitely have that. We can utilize the film industry for 10% war support, but we don't need to. War support's okay. We don't need to do those. Uh, that's fine. We're, we're good. We're good for political PowerPoints and things. So we're going in. I think we're going to do it because Denmark doesn't have a lot. We do have reserves. We have... And Denmark is no more. I think. So this has worked as I wanted to, which it's just us. And now we have to sort out Ethiopia. It's absolutely fine. Let's put some more troops. Almina. These guys are starving over here. I do feel really, really bad for them. Almina. Let's bring them over to this force. Almina. And this force can now also occupy... Well, you may as well occupy that. And now this one, which is dead cute. And at the same time, uh, you just don't need to occupy that anymore. Note those guys will ship out pretty soon. And I will put my traditional radar, my airfield. Uh, I'll increase the ports. Uh, actually, the port's pretty good. So that will do. And what was the other thing? Oh, some coastal forts. One, two, three. There we go. We're building all sorts of cool stuff to hold on to our new holdings. Right, so we can delete that order. And what we need to do is get... Actually, the Marines can sail from there, so... Let's do this. <laughs> you can go and take this place down here. And we'll we'll go and take that and we'll see we'll see what happens. So we're planning the huge invasion of Ethiopia. I wonder if the Allies and everyone's gonna let us sail happily through the Suez and everything else. I mean I I don't know if these will go. Insufficient naval supremacy in regions. Yeah, this is very true. Do we need to have naval supremacy in every region we go through? If that's the case, that is going to be very difficult. But it's only over the enemy, isn't it? It's not against people that we don't actually fight against. I think. Uh, what I could do... Does someone need to repair? No, they're okay. Well, what I... Can I split that up into its its components now? It's out of range, so I can't actually... I can do that one. That's not going to make a difference, is it? I'm not going to even waste my time on, on those. That's silly. Um, what I think I need to do is, is contact these people and um, ask for docking rights they will accept that might upset some others i don't know uh, but at that point we can then also make sure that escorts are escorting across there low amount of depth charges low sub detection that is true the new stuff isn't going to be a problem for that we do have some new stuff here. So if I put these guys in. Like that. And then just make sure that everything on here. Is on there. It might it might start to reach. It, it's going to count. And then what if I bring the big fleet. Because those guys are done now. And I stick them in the Red Sea. Can I not? Can I sail them there? Out of range. Okay, I I did wonder if that might be a problem. I 
can put that in there. That's that's insane. Uh, that is that is properly just insanity. The amount of submarines that we've got there. Uh, let's let's see what happens. <laughs> We can get there. We we can now dock with these people down here. So we have some friends. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to invade Ethiopia. I wonder. I might need to find some other way around there. It's going to be a thing. Right. Naval air patrol or naval bomber. Naval naval targeting. We'll take naval targeting. Uh, what can I actually do with this? It's a very tricky thing to do, is this. We do have supremacy here. And the ones that are going... Oh, they haven't reached. So it's the Red Sea that's the problem. How am I going to get a naval base there? Aside from um, increasing the range, what if I go to Italy and ask for docking rights? Apparently they have docking rights with me. Okay, I didn't know that. We're now in base our ships there. So what if I took the big fleet? Let me just let me just try this actually. And we send them here. Okay, so that's nearby. And then um, we can pass through there. That's that's good. Okay, that's that's good. I I think we've got some possibilities here this is going to add uh, that's the air defense the foreign aircraft research bonus for aircraft okay we can purchase aircraft from countries willing to sell to us we can also go on the market and we i'm sure we can sell a load of stuff we're, we're trying to sell this stuff but nobody wants it if i add equipment we should have a good stock of um there is a stock of old infantry equipment. We've cut, got some Russian stuff in there. This looks like old stuff. Let's let's add all this on. And get rid of it. We, we have masses of stuff. A destroyer carbine. What the hell? We want to put like a big job lot of it on really, don't we? Rather than all these little fiddly tiny bits. But somebody might want it, so. Shall I put it on cheap? I'll put it on. No, I'll just add it. We'll see, what, see who buys all that crap. It's like selling stuff on eBay after Christmas. Okay, so where are we at here? Production efficiency gain for armor. Or I'll take the hard attack and piercing. Thank you very much. It's about time. I think we probably researched a better medium tank because this is... That, that is proper garbage that we've got there. And, and no doubt about it. Okay, let's, let's um, consider our options for destroying Ethiopia. Even cooler if the Allies have no part in it. Right, we have the Red Sea. Excellent. We have this. At any point, we can now tick on these armies. And they can set sail. No, they can't. He can. In the North Sea? Oh, hang on. Am I trying to go through the North Sea? That's because I have nothing in there. That's that's no problem. We can, we can fix that. Escorts. Um, add North Sea and add that in. And then that's instantly done. It's just because they're coming from... Actually, no, that's the Marines. They they had passage from there. Well, that's fine. It was the other guys that wanted it. So we've got 49 days to go. I'm going to execute this all at once. This is going to be fantastic. I don't think we need reinforcements. I don't think we need the extra divisions that uh, we're producing. I think we're going to be good to go. I am hugely overconfident. <laughs> what we will do, though, is we will set some air supply or air support, as it is more commonly known. 
over each army and they can have some ground uh, troops over there and we have yeah go on we'll do we'll do um 200 per army i think and what i could do with is some more ground attack stuff i don't know if i have any trained so if i don't and it seems i don't we'll add some in and they're going to go in untrained close air support yeah let's let's do that untrained stuff they'll learn on the job there we go we've got uh, 200 fighters and 300 ground attack over each one i'm being quite conservative uh, i don't know if i'm going to be able to do anything right so we need we've got 49 days we've got everything we want it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome. Are we going to finally unify the Nordic nations? How we, can we do that? Can that be a thing? Now that's a dream of three playthroughs where the game has stiffed me every single time. Could it come true? Let's get our depth charge throwers up. How's this looking? This is looking good so far. I mean, I'm assuming we might be sinking a few ships if Ethiopia even has any. That's basic aircraft construction. We're working on that one. We wouldn't mind um, photo reconnaissance. We will take. Do you know what? Let's let's take this. We're building stuff that we don't we don't need to. We could build a better better planes. Uh, all of them could be better. We are now crafting mechanized stuff, so we could have armor, or we could have. We could knock the defense down and make them cheaper to produce. I don't like the sound of that one. Uh, truck mechanized, motorized, rocket archer. We get hardness. Hardness is not great. Oh, it, it's a shame. It's a shame that the mechanized don't get the breakthrough benefit of that. Because that would be good. Um, I will take... I'll take 5% armor, but it's not really what I wanted. But it's uh, I think I don't want to knock the defense down. I think that's cheap and nasty doing that. Here we go. They're still in their training. So Ethiopia, I'll probably make a puppet. I don't really want, to, or I might just release it after the war. I don't want it. Uh, we're just interested in the northern nations. We could even call it a game complete, as long as we don't get dragged into another war. National aircraft production. We will have, um, we'll go for that. As long as we don't get, we've been embargoed by the Swiss Confederation. That's fine. People don't, I'll tell you what I will do. Let's um, justify war goal. Improve relations with the United Kingdom. They don't like us a whole lot. Oh, I forgot we were using spies, weren't we? Yeah, I totally forgot about them. Right, so let's get these two armies. What's the situation? 69 and 89. I'm, I'm dead tempted just to let the Marines go ahead. I'm so, so tempted. But we're going to wait and do it properly. We're going to advance in two big goes. It's 10 days. We've got the fleet in position. We've got the improved medium tanks. Do we just go charging down here? I, I'd say we probably do. We will wait and we will get those. I think that's what I want. Yeah, go on, we'll get better mediums. Come on, we're going to have this. We are going to have this so good. We're going to, it's, it's going to be quite a culture change from fighting in the snow to fighting down here. We've got better torpedoes. See, we're improving everything all the time. We'll take the electric torpedo. We'll go and spend some air doctrine like uh, like there's no tomorrow. What's that one? Close air support. And then ground support. Let's let's call that in. And also air superiority. There we go. Are we ready to go? We've got one day to go. Ready and tick and tick. And we're off. Okay, we want to see these guys coming. They've got a long journey. I don't normally do huge long naval invasions like this because they are susceptible to going badly wrong simply because 
you just need to lose some... Well, actually, no, once they go, I think you can lose naval superiority and they will still go. You just need superiority to start the order. Whether there's a massive penalty for that, uh, if it loses, I don't know. And also, there's also the risk that um, they can get intercepted by submarines and all sorts. I have no idea how big the Ethiopian army is. I am vastly overconfident that we're just going to walk in there without any problems whatsoever. How well do you think that is going to go? We have a better medium airframe. That's, that's good. I could actually start making those bombers right now. Uh, do I want to? We could actually start making air launch torpedoes with 1940 models. Yeah, we could do that. Let, let's get those. Oh, actually, that's, that's a waste. We'll use a 50% bonus on that one. Saves more time. 